In Arabic, there are two types of nouns. Derived noun or al-ismu al-mushtaq and primitive noun which is al-ismu al-jamid. Derived nouns come from a root word like the word madrasa, school, which is derived from the root darasa, which means to study. This type of words is the vast majority of nouns in Arabic. And for the primitive or primary nouns, it is a word that doesn't come from any root, like ashams, the sun, and al-qamar, the moon, which don't originate from any root words. Now, the honored word, Allah, is it a derived noun or a primary noun. Scholars and linguists here are of two opinions. Some say that the honored word Allah is a derived noun and others say it is a primary noun. Now for the first view. Some scholars say that the honored word Allah is a derived noun from the word ilah and it is then acquired the definite article al so it becomes al ilah then the second hamza was removed for a lighter pronunciation and since the definite article al is now followed by another lam this al is now al shamsiya or sun lam which means that the two lambs now are assimilated into one full mouth lamb, which is then the word Allah. And here I gotta point out that what scholars mean when trying to derive the honored word Allah is to compare the word to other words that we have in Arabic in order to try to understand the honored word more and explain how the word is put together and make sense of its makeup. And it is not to indicate that there was another word that existed before the word Allah. That isn't the case. It is like saying that the name Ar-Rahman comes from the root Rahima. It doesn't mean that the root existed before the word or the attribute Ar-Rahman. It is just comparing the words together to understand the makeup and the meaning of the word even better. So this was the first opinion. Allah is a derived noun from the word ilah. Now, the second opinion says that Allah is a primary noun, ismun jamid. So, it is a name or a noun as is. It is not derived from anything and didn't come from any other word. And what backs this opinion up is the fact that the vocative form in Arabic, which is uslubun nida' or simply using the word ya yeah before the noun, this vocative form cannot be used with a noun that starts with a definite article, al. This means that ar-Rahman, in vocative form, we cannot say ya yeah ar-Rahman. That is a mistake, and it is not possible to do that in Arabic. But we can say ya yeah rahman So, without the definite article, al. And so we can say, Ya Aziz, not Ya Al Aziz. Ya Karim, not Ya Al Karim. And so on. So, the vocative form cannot be used with nouns that start with Al, not in the Quran or anywhere else in Arabic. Now, when using the honored word Allah in vocative form, we can just simply say, Ya Allah, that is perfectly fine, which shows that Al at the beginning of the honored word Allah is an integral part of the word and not a definite article, Lam Shamsiya, as the first opinion says. Because if it was Lam Shamsiya, we wouldn't have been able to say Ya Allah. That's why the Al at the beginning of the honored word is not added but it is an original part of the word. That was the second opinion. Allah is a primary noun that didn't come from any other word. And I personally lean more towards the second opinion. 
But a first opinion is also not wrong, since it can explain some aspects of the makeup of the honored word Allah. Now, interestingly, sometimes you see the word Allah written with a dagger alif after the second lam, but in the Quran, it is mentioned without it in the entire Quran. So, what's going on here? Does the honored word have a dagger alif or not? Well, the word Allah does have a dagger alif simply because we pronounce it. We say Allah. We don't say Allah. There is definitely an alif here with a natural med of two harakat. But in the Quran, it was dropped from the word Allah because of how often the word is used in the Quran. Others say that the word Allah doesn't have a dagger alif in the Quran to make it look different from the name of an idol that was worshipped in Quraysh, Allat, which does have dagger alif in it in the Quran. <laughs> Regardless of the reason, it is always better to stick to how it is written in the Quran. But if you do want to write Allah with a dagger alif, then that's fine too. And it is not kufr or anything. But it is better to stick with the version mentioned in the Quran. Another interesting thing about the honored word that you have to be careful with. The honored word Allah cannot be added to any other word or any noun. But other nouns or other words can be added to it. So we say Allahu Rahman Rahim. We can also say Allahu Al Aziz Al Ghafur. But we cannot say Al Aziz Al Ghafur Allah or Al Rahman Al Rahim Allah. Since the honored word, as many scholars believe, is Allah's greatest name. Therefore, it is a mistake to add the word Allah to any other word or any other noun. Another mistake to avoid is when pronouncing the first letter of the honored word. Click on this link to keep watching and learn how to avoid this mistake and pronounce the honored word properly in different positions in the Quran. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.